Okay, now it's time to play some pro doubles. John Bike and Nadia Alvarado Jr. playing David Chapman and Vince Munoz. Chapman and Munoz were the, uh, are the defending champions. Zero, zero. David starting off with a hook toward the body of uh, Alvarado, but it was short. Nice defensive return by John Bike. Play that one over. David was going to try to take it off the uh, side of the ball, and John screened him. Zero, zero. Nice retrieve by John Bike. And David had the whole right court, uh, the whole right side of the court open, but couldn't lay that kill in there. Zero, zero. mix up in communication. John thought that Nadia was going to be behind him. Beautiful pass shot by Vince though. And hand out. This is a good angle to see the awesome power of John Bike. Now that Toddy Silvera is not playing much due to his uh, duties as a fireman. We'll skip there. John is the undisputed uh, power king in handball. Hits the ball harder than anybody. Nice reverse there, too. Gets a weak return from Vince. <laughs> Hits it in the floor. But he got the setup he wanted. Normally, John is uh, deadly off the left side wall with his left. David sticking with that little, little lob to the right side of the court. Not getting very weak returns. Nice back wall kill by Nadi Alvarado, Jr. Oh, <laughs> not recommended for a right side player to take the ball with his left when he's standing on the right wall, but you know, David Chapman with that magical left of his, I guess you can get away with it. Looks like Vince is trying to serve the ball down the right wall, and if he's lucky, he'll uh, get a crack and an ace. If not, it'll slide down that right wall to Naughty. Call. Not he doesn't doesn't like to go defense on his uh, when they serve to the right. He has a pretty good fist to the ceiling, but normally he likes to just power it back. David is so tough off the back wall because he's learning how to hit hooks, big hooks. That one hit into the right into uh, the left side wall with a lot of natural and hop right into John's body. There's the ace. Vince going for a little reverse on it, probably to flatten it out on the right side ball. Two serving one. Mm, tough, right on the wall. Beautiful. Ceiling ball to the left. Three serving one. Oh, excuse me, four serving one. And since he's trying to hit that crack, uh, He'll probably end up hitting David quite a bit. Trying to serve right down that right side wall. Oh, tremendous power off the... Taking the ball right out of the air. Vince has a great fly kill game. One of the reasons why he's the reigning three wall champion, I believe. 
beautiful serves to the right. Not as over there waiting for him, but they're just too tough, either hugging the wall or crotching out. Beautiful serves. <laughs> John says the easiest serve you hit all day, but uh, the referee called it a screen. As you can see, Vince and David are a tremendous double team, doubles team. Oh, flat rollout. Beautiful. Vince, uh, not only a great fly shooter, but with a beautiful back wall kill. Picture perfect form, and he is on a roll. But they're such a good team because David is so steady, and Vince can afford to make a few errors and have David back him up. And when he's hot, there's not a better streak shooter in handball than Vince. He sets up so quick. And he seems never to be on defense. Constantly driving the ball, pounding it. John wanted to hinder, thought his swing was uh, encumbered by a Chapman as he was backing up. Probably should have been called a hinder. Oh, man. Both Chapman and Munoz are red hot, especially off the back wall. They're just rolling the ball out. Era from Nadi Jr. He thought he was also hindered by uh, Chapman's back on, on the back swing. Timeout. All right, time in again. Nine to one. Chapman Munoz, really hot right now. Finally an era. Naughty and John are back in. And we have a wet spot on the floor. Great gets from both teams. Probably the best rally of the match. Oh. Nadia flattens it. And more wet spots on the floor. Okay, we're back in. Nadia serving after that uh, exciting point. Two serving nine. Nadia, of course, a former national champion himself in doubles. And I believe he won a tour stop this year, his first. <laughs> Nadia appealed the call and uh, referee's ruling is upheld, one short. But Nadia is a, has, hits the ball tremendously hard, has, uh, can just pound the ball through an entire tournament, never, never seems to have a dead arm. In great shape. David is so quick with his hands in front court, but that one was just perfectly placed right at his feet with a wicked natural, and he uh, forced an error. Oh, and there's an unforced error. David trying to go offense on the serve. Get the ball into the floor. 4-9. If I were the other team uh, playing Chapman and Munoz, I would not serve to David. His serve return with either hand is just so good. He'll get the ball, get the ball to the ceiling every time. Even though they, they have got a couple weak returns from him.
tremendous power from Bike. Wet spot on the floor. Okay, we're back in with Bike and Alvarado serving. They've done quite well in this inning. Gotten back into the match. Looked like uh, Vince and David were going to run away with it. They were just red hot at the beginning of the match. Coming up a 9 or 10 point lead. Oh, tremendous offense from Naughty Jr. Just cracking the ball back down the right wall. And we're back in after uh, wiping off the floor. Six serving nine. Nice comeback from the team of Alvarado Bike. This John was calling a double bounce on himself or something. Six serving nine. Nice call. Nine serving six, excuse me. David trying to throw hooks down the middle of the court to this lefty-righty team. Again, a pretty simple serve return, but got a weak return off that. Beautiful defensive left. Oh. No hinder call. Slider down the left. Uh, looked like David had a reverse on it or something. And John couldn't get it back. They have a problem with the door. And occasionally when someone hits the back wall, kind of comes open and they have to get someone to push it shut. All right, we're ready to serve now. 10-6. David going to that little lob to the middle of the court there. See how Vince is uh, probably the strongest part of his game is his ability to get into a pre-shoot position with just the blink of an eye. He's ready to try an offensive kill shot where most people are just trying to get their feet set to drive the ball back. So quick in the front court. It, it's a wicked hop on the ball and Nani got handcuffed. 11-6. Vince is hitting the ball with such authority. Again, that was a decent defensive shot, but he moved back so quickly and got into a pre-shoot position behind the ball that he was able to go off and jam the ball into John. <laughs> Looked like a very nice drive that might have Flatten out with natural. I don't think David had a shot at it. Of course, David is a tremendous retriever, but I think he was anticip anticipating that ball to hop up and around the corner and look to me like it flattened out. Tremendous drive. Great return to serve there by Chapman. Vince was ready to, that was a, not a bad shot to try. Set up, moved into it, but just trying to shoot the ball too flat. Another great, no, not a great return to serve, but got it back into play.
See how both teams cover the court so well. Beautiful get by John. Big setup. Oh, again, Chapman is uh, so close to the front wall. Wet, wet spots on the floor here. Okay, we're back in, and we've seen uh, David Chapman get uh, the ball uh, hit at him very hard several times when he's up in front court. And struggling a little bit with that uh, awesome power from both Bike and Alvarado. <laughs> Eight twelve. Uh, exciting first game. Tremendous offense from both players. From both teams, excuse me. Oh, <laughs> what a shot. Nice defensive return by Bike. John playing a tremendous rally. He's having to field some really tough shots. Oh, man, what a rally. Not a badly hit ball in the whole rally. Beautiful crisp kills and passes. Only fitting with him in the flat rollout. Again, problems with the door. Whenever anybody, whenever anybody runs against the uh, back wall, tends to jar that door open. All that for a handout. Eight and twelve. <laughs> I guess that was a hinder call. I guess Naughty Jr. was in the way of Chapman. 8-12. Chapman uh, Munoz won a screen. That was really a, 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 a close serve. The ball almost hit John, who was so close to his body. But it's so hard to hit a, a true screen serve in doubles. Uh, you have such a good look at the ball that uh, I think you probably made the right call. Mm. Maybe roll over that, put reverse on it, guided it down the left wall, just out of John's reach. Maybe going for a hook serve again, it looks like. Hmm, not a very good shot there. Another error from John. He Normally it's just so automatic off the left side wall, but he's made a couple of uh, totally unforced errors. Foot fault was the call. If there is a weakness in David Chapman's game, it is that he just doesn't have a very good power serve. But he's been able to win five national championships without it. Big setup off the back wall, and Nadia, I think, was a little disappointed that he didn't hit a better shot. Wet spot on the floor. And we're back in. 
13 serving nine. Nani going offense off the Chapman serve. Tough shot. Hmm, not a very, not a very good shot there from Vince Munoz. Vince is so active. Just all, oh, unbelievable shot. Beautiful drive by Alvarado, sent Vince back on his heels and he just absolutely hit it, just rolled it out right in front of uh, Naughty for a point. Sometimes I think that uh, players don't try to fly the ball as much in the stable as they should. That was, that was a re-kill, I believe, by John Bike. Tremendous shot. And after a brief timeout, Dwight the floor. Back in at 14-9. Can you see Naughty overhanding the return? Not going for defensive uh, fist ball, but just driving the ball back. crisp rally here. Oh, too bad it had to end in, in an error like that because that, ball, that was a very well played rally. A lot of crisp drives. And unfortunately Naughty got too close to the front wall and tried to shoot straight down and skipped it in. Beautiful defensive return by John on a tough uh, ball off the back wall. Hmm. And after the wet spot is wiped up, we're back in again. Error by Chapman gets by. Alvarado back in, at nine serving 15. Another shot that John might have tried to fly, take out of the air, but he let it go to the back wall. Oh. Referee called a hinder on Nadia, I suppose. Looked like uh, David might have bothered Vince as much as uh, as much as Nadia did. 
again, 9 serving 15. Looks like, uh, looks like Naughty is going to stick with that power serve to David Chapman. David is just so tough returning serves. Wouldn't say you could necessarily freeze him out, but certainly on the serves to maybe try to get some weaker returns from Vince and, and from David. Especially since that glass is over there on the left side wall. Great return to serve. Replay that ball. Went between David's legs, it looked like. Well, a couple times both teams had big fat setups and could put the ball away. Nani in particular had a chance to move into that and just couldn't keep the ball down. And we have a wet spot on the floor. Ball hit, John. Two serves coming. Well, get one and a half serves. I guess Danny Bell was uh, unaware of that rule. Now that he knows about it, we're ready to play again. John was there. Nice rally. Well played. And a wet spot on the floor. That was a handout. 9-15. Great, sir. Obviously, Vince thought the ball was short. Well, there's no really no reason to argue. Uh, Linesman overruled the call, and they should just play ball now. Nowhere to go with that ball. Play developed very quickly, and John had nowhere to go, so it took it in the back. 10 serving 15. Another tough serve. I really think they're better off serving to Vince. Oh, tremendous power from John. 
handcuff David. John can hit the ball so hard, I think he's one of the few players that could go through an entire tournament without making a, an error. He just uses power and just wear people down. But in fact, he's really kind of a streak shooter. He does actually make quite a few errors uh, occasionally. But when he gets hot, there's just no one better. Just like that. It's two bounces. Okay, after a nice call by Chapman on a two bounce, we're back in. Mike and Alvarado have made headway here. John has been angling most of the serves towards uh, Vincent's side of the court. Oh, they called a hinder on that, but I don't believe that John was going to get to that. Tremendous drive. Wet spot. After a controversial hinder, Bakken Alvarado still serving. Oh, great serve, but it was a foot fault. <laughs> Vince uh, expecting a hinder, but he should you should never do that in a tournament. Expect the referee to make a call. And we have a timeout. Okay, we're back in. Bike serving. The score is 13 playing 15. Oh, beautiful power serve. John is just dominating over there with his power right now. Vince puts an end to the rally with a crisp kill. Now Bike and, uh, excuse me, Chapman and Munoz are back in. 15 serving 13. David going around the walls here. Interesting. Both with his left and his right hands. <laughs> Tremendous offense. Just a little opening there for Munoz, and he bottom boards it. 16-13 after a long defensive rally. Again, David going around the walls quite a bit. Just missed. Now he thought he could go offense and just hit the ball a little low, but it's a point for Chapman Munoz as they're uh, making a lot of headway here to get to 21. Tough defensive shot to Chapman. And again, he's going around the wall. An effective shot against the lefty-right team. Man, Vince is just playing great. The other three players are rallying around, and whenever Vince touches the ball, the rally's over. Two tremendous kills get his team to 18-13. Oh, just tremendous offense. 
Chapman did well just to get out of the way of that rocket. Timeout. And we're back in after a tremendous offensive display by Vince Munoz, carrying his team to the big lead here in the first game. And a beautiful reverse. David took that ball around the corner and rolled over it and guided it right down the left wall. Great shot. 2013. Possible game point here. Big setup. Nice, nice call. And Chapman had a big setup and decided to drive it instead of shoot. Wet spot on the floor. We're back in after uh, John just made a clutch kill for a handout. Oh, tough shot. <laughs> Turned out to be a winner. You think there's a wet spot on the floor. Back in Alvarado back in after a tough return by Naughty. Turned into a, a winner. Great get by Bike. And that was a kill. I couldn't tell what happened at first, but David uh, took the ball out of the air, hit a side front kill. Tremendous shot. Again, Bike going back to those sur hard serves right at Vince. Oh, unbelievable reactions by Chapman. Two in a row. Ball hit at him 100 miles an hour, and he just sticks his hand out and guides him into the bottom board. Great shot. Game point. Big setup off the back. Oh, right in the floor. Boy, Chapman's had several opportunities here at 20 to end the match. That's four or five uh, points. I don't know if the ball hit a wet spot. I'm not sure what happened there. <laughs> Tough shot. Side out. And Bike and Alvarado are still in this game. It's at least two innings now that Chapman and Munoz have been una unable to get that uh, 21st point. So while John uh, serves to Vince, Nadia has been serving to uh, Chapman. Great return, uh, great back wall shot by Chapman, uh, reverse down the right. Set up a very weak return from uh, Bike and Alvarado and Vince went offense. Scored on a drive. Well, David has hit some great shots uh, when Bike and Alvarado are in. Coming in front court and Hitting beautiful kills, but he hasn't had much luck converting on uh, on his own serve here. Let's see what happens now. Big return. Not sure what happened there. Looked like uh, both. Uh, 
Chapman and Munoz were kind of flapping their arms around waiting for a hinder call. Could have been distracting. I think we may play this one over. Still kind of a break, really, for uh, Bike and uh, Alvarado. Looks like we're going to play it over. Probably a good call. 20 playing 13. Oh, and Nani just rolls it out. Beautiful kill. Left corner. Now Vince serving for going for 21. Hmm. Looked like that ball may have been headed right for the crotch. Hit David in the foot. One and a half serves coming, I believe. Okay, so Alvarado and Bike are back in. Hang in there. Looked like a possible match point a few points ago. Played it over, and now they're back in with a chance to get back in the game. right at Chapman and he just uh, reached out and killed it. Power didn't seem to bother him at all on that play. Wet spot on the floor. And we're back in with a handout. 13 serving 20. Play that over. I'm sure that hurt a little bit. Of course, John Bike and Nadia Alvarado are brothers-in-law now. Johnny married to Lapita, recent father. Congratulations to him. Tough sir. What a get. Went all the way around Bike and reached out and smacked a little re-kill in there. Vince is just so fast and David going for the big hook down the middle. David doesn't really have big hooks um, the way that Chuck Reeve has them or the way Pete Tyson used to hit them, but very, very intelligent the way he, he uh, breaks the ball either way, especially off the back wall, not so much on the serve. It's that defensive left, which is so tough. Contact. Naughty going back for the ceiling shot. And Brushed by Vince, so we played over. David going for the crotch. And, uh, game point. Beautiful return by Naughty. Great rally here. Oh, another hard hit. A tough shot. Oh, man. No hinder calls. I believe we did get a hinder there at the end. Nice rally. Wet spots on the floor. Now we're back in after that tremendous point. Again, it's match, uh, not match point, excuse me, game point. Serving 13. Again, the hook. Okay.
Okay, another shot at uh, game point on Chapman's serve. Again, going for the ace to the right. Another big, ooh. Chapman having all kinds of uh, trouble getting that 21st point, even though he's had some setups that are as fat as he can make them. Now it's Fence's turn. Oh, and an ace. Beautiful serve. In five minutes. Okay, we're back in now. Starting the second game. Nadia and John serving, 0-0. Zero, zero. Nice serve down the left. Nadia Jr. hit a nice reverse. And they score the first point of the second game. Looks like uh, John has convinced Nadia to start serving the ball to the left to Vince. They keep away from Chapman on the serve returns. Ooh, just skipped in. Again, Vince is a hot and cold shooter. Uh, that's why he's so effective playing with uh, Chapman, because David can protect him with his, with his uh, percentage shots. Some kind of uh, disagreement over who uh, serving first here in the second game. They've got it straightened out, and Naughty's back in serving. Call by Danny Bell. Vince was screen on that shot. Ooh, another weak return. Beautiful rollout. Sometimes Nadi has troubles with those balls real close to the front wall. He has such a big long swing, and I've seen him take the ball from like 10 feet from the front wall and hit it almost straight down and skip balls in that way. Tremendous deep court shooter, however. Like in these shots. Oh, tough kill. Right along the right side of the wall. And Vince goes side front. And almost rolls it out. Zero three. Again, the awesome power of bike and handcuffing his opponents. Vince is uh, such a great shooter that if I was refing a match, I'd be hard pressed to call hinders like that because he is gets in a position so well to shoot that he almost uh, doesn't need them. Nice drive by John. Hand out. Beautiful back wall kill off a weak return by Vince. Vince is hitting the ball as hard as I've ever seen him hit it. He's really uh, got uh, a lot of deceptive, deceptive power. Ceiling there, back wall set up. Nice call, hinder ball. David just bombing away off the back wall, but unable to convert. 3 0.
<laughs> oh, great uh, pass and a great hit by John. Big setup here. Hands on an era, but a well played, a uh, well played rally. Let's see if John serves to Vince, or if he decides to go to the left to David. I think that's the right move to more or less freeze out Chapman on the server turns. Ender ball there, played over. Serving zero. ceiling rally here. Usually works to the advantage of Chapman to have these types of ceiling rallies. Vince just wanted to hit the ball, then he was kind of frozen out. So David controlled the rally through the ceiling. And when he got a chance to hit the ball, he was just a little anxious. Nice serve return by Vince. Big back well set up here. Big back wall set up and didn't execute very well at all. But then a very nice re-kill on a much more difficult shot to get his team in, zero to four. Match is starting to take on a pattern. Long extended ceiling rallies, and a mistake is made, and you start mixing it up again. Hinder's called, and back to zero, serving four. Oh, very nice. Thought John was back too far, but he managed to run in and stick his big old right hand out there and tap it in the front wall. That ball hit David, I believe. Very nice. Thought John was jammed, but he managed to fall back just enough and Get a fadeaway kill shot. Caught both uh, Chapman and Munoz off balance. Beautiful serve, uh, 
turn of serve. Mm. Ball angled away from John with a big natural. Oh no. Don't see that very often. A short serve, then a long serve, and a side out. Weak return there by Chapman. Oh, and a weaker return by John. Big setup and miss hit it. Finally, uh, Chapman and Munoz are on the boards at four to one. Great re-kill. David barely got to it, stuck his hand out. Beautiful re-kill and a timeout for Tal. Wiping the floor. And we're back in after a wonderful re-kill by Chapman. Get his team to two to four. Will place two wall pass. Stuck behind John and not he wasn't quite ready to go back there and get it. Two serving four. <laughs> Huge setup again. Very few legitimate screens and doubles. John's getting ready to crank on that. And got, a, got a screen call instead. Mm. John had a Vince back and David on the right side wall and attempted to hit a kill on the left. Right choice, just didn't execute. Okay, we're back in. It's game's all tied up. Of course, Vince and David won the first game. Ah, tough kill. Thought he was screened initially, but John got out of his way and Vince had a beautiful kill in the left corner. Beautiful drives. Chapman manages to pinch that ball right by John on the left there. Normally a very dangerous shot. John is so good at taking it out of the air. Nice return by John on a very difficult serve. Chapman uh, serve and shoot mode. Kills it down the right. So what was a 4-0 game is now a 7-4 game. Chapman and Munoz have run off seven unanswered points. Mm. Awesome power of John Bike. Pretty big setup anyway. Four serving seven. What spot on the floor here? I guess it wasn't a wet spot on the floor. It was a uh, the door had come loose. Tends to jar open when somebody uh, runs into the back wall. I believe that ball slid also. Played over. Mm. Not a very good serve by Nadi. Uh, almost a good serve, almost reversed enough to go down the left wall, but came around the corner to Chapman's tremendous right hand.
Oh, leave that ball hit David. So that's the point. Got an unforced error there from uh, Vince. Tough shot. Tremendous ceiling ball. Pin David into the left corner. Got a little got a little of his own medicine there. Normally Chapman's the one that will bury people in the left corner. That's an ace. Timeout, Mike and Alvarado are hot. Okay, we're back in uh, eight serving seven. Mike and Alvarado have run off uh, four straight points. Long rally, very well played. Nani finally hit a hard kill pass right at David. Too too tough to handle. Five straight points run off by Mike and Alvarado. <laughs> Big setup. Long rally. At the end of it, a big setup to bike, and he rolled it. 10 7. David has done it several times in this match. Low hard drives right past John's big left hand and then being so low on the left side wall that Nadi can't get to it. Very safe percentage of offensive play. Good call, bad bounce on the light. Get by Naughty. Very weak return for John. Oh, skips it in. Glove change, two minutes. Okay, time in after the glove change. Sort of a seesaw battle so far. Bakken Alvarado getting off to a 4 0 lead. 
against Munoz. Jumping ahead, seven point run, eight point run. Then Bike and Alvarado responding with their own six point inning. Huh. David, so tough in front court. Some players have a hard time converting that close to the front wall. Players with big long swings, but David is just so deadly. 10 feet away from different angles. David has gone to that cross court serve. Trying to get the ball to angle between the two uh, defenders on serve, Alvarado and Bike. Coming to their offhand. Chapman tried a very unorthodox uh, falling away, three quarters killed in the right corner and missed it. Nice defensive return of serve by Nadia Jr. This is team uh, back in an offensive mode. Nice doubles play here. Oh, great rally. Mm. Vince finally ends it with a flat kill. Very appropriate. Might have been the best point of the match. No miss hits, everybody striking the ball well. Ball had a lot of pace. And ending on a bottom board kill. Server turns a little hard. Oh, tough shot. David zeroing in on it. Crotch on the left side wall. Both Chapman and Munoz put John on the defensive at him. Playing very defensively out of the left corner. John moved in as if he was going to take the ball with his right hand that last second took it away and asked for help. But Nadi, who was frozen out the entire rally, was over on the right wall and couldn't get to it. Kind of a big break for, for Vince and David on that. That ball skipped in. But it was a very productive inning. They take the lead again, 
after a very nice rally. Uh, Naughty serving, 11 12. Again, picking on Vince Munoz. Naughty rips a kill in the left corner. Naughty and John have a chance it's to be serving to Vince and freezing out David to get their weak returns. Oh. Very authoritative kill from Chapman in that uh, rally. We're all knotted up at 12-12. Spot on the floor. Well, much more entertaining game than the first one in terms of uh, the score. This one looks like it's going all the way down to the wire. Again, in the first game, David Chapman and Vince Munoz have got the big lead. Here's an example of uh, Naughty having a hard time sometimes converting from uh, up past the front line. That big swing of his shot the ball straight to the ground. It looked like it was going to be a good ceiling shot no matter what. Well, Danny's going to replay it even though he didn't see a bad bounce. <laughs> well, we're going to play it over anyway. Big break for Chapman Munoz. And a nice pass. Vince again caught on the right wall and couldn't get back over to help his partner. Tough shot. Tremendous drive. Low on the left side wall. Popped up and John had a clear swing at it. But again, in doubles, when you shoot the ball in the front court, both players are waiting. Not always a good idea. There's the underhand shot of John's, and it's about the only person in the world I've ever seen do that consistently. It's not a fist ball, but it's with his offhand and a big swooping underhand ball right back up to the ceiling. Beautiful re-kill by Naughty. That time he was up close against the, to the front wall. And he just laid into that and had a beautiful kill pass down the right. Let's 
spot on the floor. Okay, Nadi serving. 13-14. Tough serve. Beautiful serve down the right. Oh, still, that was an easy shot for Vince. Another wet spot. Fourteen all. Sometimes when I watch Nadi play, you can almost see him getting into a groove. Great get. Oh, tremendous retrieve. Oh, ho, ho. Dave tried to dump that in the front wall, and you saw Nadi just waiting for him. Another wet spot. Nadi Jr. is settling into a groove here. He's hit several beautiful kills and passes and serves over the last uh, few points. That was a beautiful drive by Chapman. No chance of getting that off the back wall. Perfect placement on the right wall. Great shot. Again, running back to our back end after an error from John Bike uh, has put the team of David Chapman and Vince Munoz back into the box. Nice natural from Chapman, but a little short. fist around the walls. Nice long rally ends in a hinder. Very well played. Mm. Beautiful natural. Actually angled away from Naughty. Back into John. A little confusion on who should take it. Another weak return. Down the middle of the court again. That ball almost hit David. He jumped up and went between his legs. Reverse down the middle of the court. Beautiful drive. Hmm. Hinder ball, but a nice drive to the right with David's offhand.
<laughs> Hannah Lee John's, I believe John's gloves are wet. Two minute glove change. We're back in. Chapman and Munoz have taken the lead. Another natural down the middle of the court. Very nice uh, retrieve by John. Looked like he put a reverse of his own on that shot with his left, with his right hand, and angled it right down the left side of the court. Call. Thought Naughty's shot was down, and even though David was right there, it was just such a flat shot, it's hard to penalize a player for that. got it back. He's, he's getting pinned back there. Got some great shots. Tremendous fly kill down the right by Vince Munoz. There's a three wall shot for you. Took it right out of the air and just bottom boarded it. Great shot. And Alvarado had to be careful here not to let David and uh, Vince sneak a few points in here and get up to 20. 18 15. Great get by Vince Munoz. See if there's a wet spot on the floor. Okay, Vince has run off a few points here to get his team up to 19-15, including a great diving re-kill on the last point. Great get by Chapman. Looked like it slid from here, too. Tough break for John Bike and Nadia Alvarado. Okay, now that we wipe the walls off, it's time to get back to playing. 19 serving 15. Tough shot right on the wall. Good get by Bike. <laughs> Tremendous reactions by John Bygan. Great drive. What spot on the floor? Okay, we're back in after a great re-kill by Bike on a ball that was by him. Reached out and just tapped the ball back to the front wall for a re-kill. Why not? He's really picked up his game here in the second game. Mm. 
very tough serve. Looked like it was going to slide down the right wall for, for a setup. Cracked and came out. Vince didn't know what to do. Close to the end, those, those are heartbreakers. Just a handout though, 16 playing 19. Boynton is just playing so tough right now. Any opening he gets, he's taking and converting them. Just any offensive opportunity he gets. Oops, there's a mistake. I think Danny's calling a hinder on that. Oh, again. Vince dares to shoot in front of Naughty, and Naughty punishes him for it. Nice serve return by Vince. The team back on offense. Big back well set up here. Skip that in. He's been hitting the ball so beautifully on the last uh, half hour or so, but that one got away from him. Chapman back in, 1918. <laughs> Great throw of a bike and a maneuver around David. Danny Bell had the presence of mind not to call a hinder. Shot opened up and trying to hit a beautiful low kill. Okay, after our timeout, we're back in. 1918.
<laughs> Great rally. What a nice rally that was. Get back in Alvarado back in in 18-19. Wow. 38-foot kill with his offhand. Caught Vince back. Tremendous shot by Naughty Jr. Again, Naughty makes that error close to the front wall. Mm. Tough break. Okay, after we wipe the floor, it's time for play to resume. 19, playing 19. Kill. Dave doesn't doesn't really extend when he hits those. He just kind of pushes them into the corners. Dangerous in doubles to hit a ball that soft, but he does it better than anybody I've ever seen. Hmm. Looked like the screen more by. Chapman than he was by uh, Naughty Jr., but Ender Ball. David around the walls again. He's done that quite a bit in this match. Tough season ball. Right on that wall. Good get by Mike. Shoo. Don't know how David got the ball between his opponents, but managed to hit a flat kill between them. Going for the championship, 2019. Turn, defensive return by David running back. And that's the game, folks. Another doubles title for Chapman Munoz. Congratulations to them. And congratulations to Bike and Nadia on a successful tournament also. Another Grand Slam title for David Chapman. A well-played match.